Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV, where off you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So welcome to number two. Didn't I promise you another DIY face mask video where here we are. I hope you guys enjoyed the turmeric mask because I felt like I was glowing. Did you guys leave me a comment to let me know I was glowing? And if you didn't leave me a comment, did you at least subscribe if you're new to this channel? Hello and welcome. Hey, what's up? Hello. Okay, so let's get into today's affirmation before we get into this Moringa face mask, okay? Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Release. I am so thankful that my past has made me better and not bitter. I am so thankful that my past has made me better and not bitter. I am so thankful that my past has made me better and not bitter. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Release. That was for me, y'all. That was for me. Because during this retrograde, I am letting go of my past like I've never let go of something in my life. I am moving forward lighter okay but in order to do that we have to unpack the past and how do we unpack the past we face the shadows we face the ghosts of yesterday we face those nasty annoying evil people we face the nasty annoying evil versions of ourselves we we confront it and when we confront it what happens we're free don't you want to be free in 2019 don't you want to be freer than you've ever been listen there's a retrograde happening. Listen, there are different consciousnesses occurring. Which one you want to be? You want to be high vibing or low vibing? The choice is yours. Honey, I'm going up, okay? We're going up. Okay, let's get into this. So, Moringa. So, Moringa is the new superfood. Yes, you've heard of turmeric. Yes, you've been on avocados. Yes, you've heard of turmeric. Yeah, you've been on your spirulina, but I'm about to let you know about Moringa. Okay, so Moringa is from India. It can be found in India and Pakistan in that region of the world. Um, the nutrients are all up in the Moringa tree, the leaves, the plant itself, all of it. It is full of vitamins A, C. It is a superfood, so that means that it is full of antioxidants. So we're gonna be putting it on our face, but recently in Ghana, we purchased some Moringa um, tea. Moringa is great for anti-inflammatory, antibacterial. It's great for cholesterol. And it's really, really good if you or someone you know has diabetes, it has been shown to reduce the symptoms connected with diabetes. So. Moringa is God's gift to us and we got to use God's gifts. So today we're going to be putting Moringa on our face. It's going to be a quick, easy DIY mask, but I just wanted to give you guys some more info on Moringa. Moringa also, when you put it on your face, honey, you know what it does? Because of its antioxidant properties, it goes ahead and renews and detoxifies your skin so that new skin cells can come to the surface because we just want to shine, okay? We want to be radiant, okay? We want to be out here glowing before the year is over and into the next year, okay? If you feel me, let me get a holla, okay? Holla. So if you want to work on detoxifying your skin, protecting your skin from the environment, getting those free radicals off your skin, like you don't want to age too early or you want to be able to reduce wrinkles, all of that good stuff, because you just want to glow. You want to be good inside and out. This is not about vanity, right? It's all about taking care of yourself and your self-care routine. So let's get into just the basic ingredients that you need for Moringa. Um, I purchased my Moringa in Ghana. So, but I know that you can purchase Moringa on Amazon, but you guys already know, make sure it's USDA organic, make sure that it's like non-toxic, make sure that you know the source that it's coming from because you can't be putting any old type of herb in your body because don't come back to me talking about how there's a mushroom growing in your stomach because you didn't want to like fact check, okay? So let's go put this Moringa mask on. So again, for this mask, we're just gonna go ahead and use some honey. There's the moringa in the plastic bag, a spoon, lemon, and a container. Okay, so this is the moringa that we got from Ghana. Obviously, you can buy it by the pound there. 
Again, make sure that when you are purchasing your Moringa, that it is USDA organic, ethically sourced, all of that good stuff. So you're going to see it's like a really pretty green color. Oh, there's already a spoon in here. Perfect. Like a matcha color, right? That is earthy. Oh, it's a fork. Okay, so a lot of a lot of DIY face masks I saw online, they're adding tea tree oil, one recipe called for avocado, one recipe called for banana, but we're going to keep it super simple over here. Please feel free to add whatever you want. If you have acne prone skin, tea tree oil is your friend, so go ahead and add maybe one or two um, drops of tea tree oil into your mask. But it has to be actual tea tree oil and not the oil that you use for your diffuser because I don't think you can put that on your face. So we're just going to go ahead and put a little bit. Honestly, just a little bit. A little bit of honey. Can you guys see that yet? Just a little bit of honey again for moisture. Squeeze some lemon. Oh, it's so weird using my left hand. Squeeze some lemon in there. And because I don't want to make the same mistake we made last time, I'm going to add some water. Go ahead and add a little bit of water. Go ahead. Uh oh. Sorry, y'all, for the focus. Go ahead and stir. Oops. So I also saw that a lot of people like to add clay to their mixes. Now, I did read that you cannot add like the Aztec healing clay. You cannot put that um, with this. I'm not sure why. But if you have um, any type of clay besides the Aztec healing clay, you can add it to it. So this consistency is really watery, but I'm kind of okay with it. I don't really need a thick mask. I just need something to cover my face. So let's go ahead and put this, oops, on my face. All right, so now that we have got our Moringa, let's go ahead and apply. And again, I'm just using an old makeup brush. I know that there are tools out there for you to use your DIY at-home face mask with, but um, I ain't got one. I got this. And what do we do? We use what we got to get where we want to go. Let's go ahead and... Pull that on there. So as you can see, this consistency, much thinner than the turmeric, but I think it's because of the water. I personally don't need a thick mask to know that, oh, got some on my shirt. I don't need a thick mask to know that it's going to work. So once it's on, you're going to look like green ivy, okay? You're going to look like a ghoul. You're going to look like, I feel like I put way too much over here. Can we just fix that for camera, camera purposes? Um, you're going to be looking like a green goblin. Again, I would only leave this on for 10 minutes. I really, I don't know. I don't, I, personally, even me with my normal skin, I don't want to leave it on too long. Um, I know it's detoxifying my skin. I know that it's taking away these wrinkles, pre-age wrinkles. I know that it is has all these antioxidants and it's saving my skin from the environment. But I think 10 minutes is good. So let's go ahead and put the, leave this on for 10 minutes. And while we're doing that, you know what to do? We about to have a dance party. You're not gonna see instant results. Your face is gonna feel good again, thanks to the honey. Oh, something is different. Something is very different about my skin right now. I don't know. 
I don't know, something feels good, but anyway, okay, that was DIY mask number two, do it, do it, un, un, do, oh, do, um, I took French for three years, I don't remember anything, okay, but, uh, that was video do, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope it was easy, I hope you can get your hands on some USDA ethically sourced moringa so that you guys can get this into your beauty routine. I'm gonna put in my beauty routine. Routine. I know I can be a little lazy, but uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna do better. It's a new year, new me. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to put the notifications up so you can see our last but not least DIY video, and it's gonna be the avocado mask. Yes, you can eat it and put it on your face too, boo. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.